Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlane. Today I want to talk about the seven steps that you need to take to be able to launch your YouTube channel. So many people I talk to say, you know, what do you need to do? It just seems like so much work and I've always wanted to do it. I don't know what to do. My first piece of advice before I go through the steps is just do it. Um, just do it. <laughs> uh, everybody starts where you are at right now. They, they want to do it and they're excited and they have all these ideas but they don't know how to get started. Now, I'm not gonna go through the technical how-to steps of actually go in and set up the YouTube channel. I do have other videos for that, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the playlist, the mechanics of YouTube, where you can find the how-to, but these are some things that you need to think about before you dive in and actually create the channel. And number one is think about, you probably already have an idea of what you wanna share. Maybe you uh, like to paint, and you wanna do some videos about the different techniques on how to paint. I'm just throwing something out there and you were really excited about it. So what you need to start thinking about is who am I targeting? So obviously if you're teaching other people how to paint, there's one way you would teach children how to paint and another way you might teach elderly people how to paint or middle-aged people. Um, different types of painting. So think about your audience. Who are you talking to? Um, are you talking to young children? Are you talking to older people? And, and gear all of your lessons or your videos to that audience and stick with it. You don't want to change it up and say, well, today I'm going to talk to th third graders and then tomorrow we're talking to 50 year olds, you know, so you want to, you want to make sure that you know who your audience is, who are you trying to reach? And the reason that's important because a lot of people will look at your videos and then subscribe and they're expecting to get some more content that is very similar or, you know, some somewhat within that same niche. And they expect you to keep talking to them, not all of a sudden to tr change your audience and who you're talking to. So that's number one, your target audience. Number two is what will you talk about? What are you going to share? And we just came up with an example, but even within that, we're going to stick with art and stick with painting, but it, within painting, there's lots of different techniques. Are you going to talk about watercolor, maybe sometimes charcoal? I mean, you may want to hit all of those different methods and techniques of painting or art, but then you want to um, make sure you stick with it, if that makes sense. So you can make a schedule. Eventually, you could start making playlists. Like one whole playlist may be about oil painting. Another whole playlist may be about watercolors. Um, so you create them in a mixed up way, if that makes sense, you can. But then eventually, you'll put them into these playlists and then share the list. And then if somebody really wants to dig into your watercolor videos, all of them are right there in a package, and they can go in and just watch all of them one after another. Number three is come up with a content strategy or a schedule. Like when, what I just said, um, schedule out your content, but then also schedule how many times a week am I going to post on my YouTube channel? Some people start out saying they're only going to post once a week and that's fine if that's all the time you have. If in the back of your mind, you're looking to monetize, you may just take longer to get to that point. I was personally posting every single day when I first got my video at my channel. And then after about eight months, I went down to six days and then eventually down to three. But I wanted to have a lot of content on my channel so that when I was ready to monetize and I had met those requirements, I had a lot of content there. But that was my strategy. That was my goal. And it's interesting that entire year that that was my goal. I knew I was going to do it within a year and I did. I everything else that I had um, on my to-do list, I didn't stray from that goal. And so make yourself a goal and a schedule and stick to it. And you'll find that it just becomes easier each day to get your work done because you're like, I have to do this. This is part of my plan, part of my strategy. Let's talk about number four. Now, again, this one can go into lots and lots of detail, but come up with a growth strategy. This is when you want to start um, starting to dig in and find out what search engine optimization is. Again, if you look at my other playlist that I have, um, I go into how uh, YouTube channel for beginners and in there I talk about uh, search engine, engine optimization and how to get keyword tags and things like that. But that's where you're strategically trying to do certain things to your videos and your channel when you post them or to your videos when you upload them that will help you get more people looking at it. So search engine optimization or SEO growth strategy, dig in, learn how to do that, and that's going to help your channel grow. Number five 
is content, content, content. Make sure you have, at, I would say at least 10 to 20 videos before you launch it. And um, I personally did not do that. I did not get that piece of advice. So my channel in the first couple of months grew very, very slowly because I did not do the next two steps that I'm telling you now. And I think this would have helped it a lot because I have a friend doing this right now and it does work. But go ahead and create about 10 videos, have something on your channel, have your YouTube banner made, the channel banner, you know, so it looks professional. And then in step number six, you will launch your channel and you let people know, look, I've made some videos, I'm brand new, look what I have. And at least when they go in and look at your channel, they'll say, wow, she's got like 20 videos in here or 10 videos, I'm gonna look at them. And then they can decide, is this something I wanna continue to watch? Do I wanna subscribe? Or maybe they're just not interested. So don't get your feelings hurt if you launch your channel and some of your friends don't subscribe because maybe they're just not interested in painting as an example. I do wanna give you a tip be consistent if you decide to post once a week then post once a week if you decide to post three times a week make sure you're consistent so i post on monday wednesday and friday 3 30 each one of those days and i've been very very consistent once you have been posting for a while there are some analytics which are going to help your seo and your growth strategy there's some analytics that will start coming in from youtube and in those analytics, you can start seeing which ones of my videos are people really watching? How much time are they spending watching it? And things like that. And it's even gonna say, even though I might be posting, let's say at 6 p.m. every night, it might say most of your people are watching your videos at 4 a.m. So you might wanna rethink it. Or maybe they're, most of them are watching it at 2 p.m. and I'm posting at seven. So maybe I wanna start posting before two. Does that make sense? So the analytics are gonna come in really handy, but not at first. Don't worry about any of that stuff in the beginning. In the beginning, my advice to you is just keep creating content just do the best with what you have what you know and you'll just keep getting better you'll just keep putting out better content and you will keep getting better and that's what it's all about your subscribers will grow your audience will grow and your views will grow and it just gets really exciting and if you're if you're making videos about something that you're passionate about it's really not hard to do. It's really fun actually. And you'll have so many ideas. So I hope that this was helpful to you. My goal in this video was to encourage you to tell you just to get out there and do it. And again, if you need some more how to um, mechanics on how to do it, um, just make sure you look at the playlist that I've got posted in the video. All right. Thank you for watching. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Um, I always put out content, how you can create a business with affiliate marketing. I personally have created my affiliate marketing business on YouTube. So I talk a lot about YouTube as well as affiliate marketing as a business, not just by just not making some side hustle money or anything like that, but how you can grow it as a business. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.